Hello, my name is Ruhl Hartmann. I'm here at KScope 16 together with Karen Canell. Hi, Karen. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. Okay, great you, to you be are here at KScope. You are a KScope veteran, aren't you? I am a veteran. I don't even know how many I've been to. Yeah, you lost count. I've lost count. Um, I was going to collaborate. So I, was, I was going to collaborate when they were IOUG live, yeah. and people said, "No, no, no! You're a developer." go to the OD Tug conference, that's the developers, yeah. that's the one you want to go to. I went to my first OD Tug, I volunteered, and I've been coming ever since. Mm -hmm. And I've yeah, been to DC twice, New Orleans twice, it's been a while. It's, it's been, been a while. while, you've seen a lot of them. And how do you compare the other ones to this one? Is it different? Is, is, it, is it changing? Well, this is do you detect any changes? This is, well, it's different because it's Chicago. Everyone has like the flavor of the city that it's in. Um, this Sheridan, um, the way it's organized, you know, we're, we have less walking than usual. Yeah. Um, there's fun things to do outside. Um, I am noticing in this one, the Apex community is bigger. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like the S-Base Hyperion community is bigger. Um, and uh, things like the open night, Open mic like night last night. <laughs> yeah. Open mic night yeah. last night. Very hard. Night Very hard to pronounce. Was um, more people are, are just getting up and showing their stuff. People are more comfortable with that open mic yeah. and are doing this. Yeah, I remember the first time we did that. It's people were just reluctant and resistant right. to get up, and we have to have the, the, the regular speakers to do something first to, sh to show something first, and then just a few. Other people came up, but right. now they're standing in line, they have to wait, and we have only five minute, bre five minute presentations. So. And, and I think people are kind of like planning for next year's yes. open mic. Like, I think they maybe do. I can do this. I, because I watched it, especially from the back, there are people just preparing their little thing, and there was right. just not just one, but at least a dozen people are just open up their laptop and prepare what you would like to show. This yeah. is great. So it's, they're very enthusiastic. And I know other people are from, from other tracks are very jealous of this stuff. They, they come in and they see about about over 100 people in the right. evening having fun while there's something technical going on. And right. they say, what's this? How can this happen? So Beer and snacks, Beer and, snacks and, provided. and learning. Yeah. And that works great. Yeah. And about new things. Can you tell, we have something about the Innovation Award. Can you tell us about it? Oh, uh, the Innovation Award. Um, why did I think that? I, I'm attending all these case scopes, and mm -hmm. every year there's something I see that is, wow, what do you think? And we see some of those at the open mic night. But um, I've been doing the Editor's Choice Awards. Mm -hmm. For years I, I already. think since 2007. Cause it's I've, almost I, 10 years. It's a long time, and um, it takes a lot of time before the conference, and this year I didn't have anything mm -hmm. because we don't have an Editor's Choice Award. So I thought, well, we have people that do really neat and innovative things, and we should be able to honor that. Mm -hmm. These people that make us go, wow, yeah, that, yeah. that at lunch people are talking about, and at, you know, the next day people are talking about. So, yeah, and whether or not they show it at the conference, um, I wanted to create an award that would award that innovation. And so I talked to the board and put it out there, and they said yes. And we had nominations open at the beginning of May, and we got a whole suite of things from all our different communities. Yeah, that's great. And, and I was psyched, because I was like, is this going to fly or not? Yeah. And it did. It's, it's totally new. No one has done that before. So. Right, well, and it, it's really neat, and we've got really neat um, really neat nominations, mm -hmm. and um, better than that, we got the nominations that I thought that I wanted to be in. Okay, that's I mean, great. I couldn't just like nominate all the ones I wanted. I, I needed the community to do that, and people did. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, and everyone I invited to be a judge, agreed. Okay. And so we had judges from every community, and um, we met. We did some scoring on general criteria to cut it down to the last few and then we talked about it and came up with um, we decided on seven finalists okay. because they're so different yeah totally you know? different subjects totally different technologies different subjects different impact mm -hmm. innovation it was interesting innovation means different things to different people yes um, so there's innovation in terms of that clever use of an oracle tool to 
uh, you know, for a business problem, to solve a business problem. There's innovation in terms of um, outreach to, you know, training to people, you know, how to bring this particular Oracle tool to the rest of the world. Uh, there's innovation in just, you know, solving a client problem and um, moving things to the cloud. There were several cloud things. Um, there were, I'm trying to not be specific on anyone. Oh, yeah. um, there were some helper tools that, that help you use an Oracle tool. Um, there were several hands-on submissions. That, it's, um, it's very diverse. It so you really, everything. really great. So you got seven finalists. Do, you have a, do, we, do we have a winner? Uh, we have a winner. <laughs> our winner was unanimous among okay, our that's judges. True. So and and we when will when will it be announced? We will announce the winner at the Wednesday night special event. Okay. So I think that'll have a great impact. Yeah. It's another reason to look forward to the special yes. event. And I've been able to talk to um, all the nominees and all the finalists and let them know they're finalists mm -hmm. and you know build the suspense. And um, I'm really excited because I know. Um, I, I know our winner is going to be really exciting. Okay. I, I, I don't know. I have no clue who it is. No, uh, I don't and, know. And I think, it, and it's a perfect winner for our um, inaugural award. And okay. I'm hoping that we can do this award every year. Mm -hmm. What we would really like, the direction I'd like to see it go, is to have nominations open throughout the year. Mm -hmm. Because this and was rather short notice. This was short notice yeah. for this year. Um, but if. If we could have our members vote, mm -hmm. I think that would that's be even, ideal. Even, even better. Because that's that, a good idea. We could talk about that. Right? Yes, that that yeah. that's the ideal direction we want to go. Okay. And of course, you know, who knows how many nominations we'll get next year with um, everything. You don't cloud. know what you started. I didn't know what I started. <laughs> um, everything cloud now. So yes. how are people going to get to the cloud? I mean, you can't. Yeah rebuild everything from scratch so I'm kind of excited to see okay. what we'll get and, and I'm you know I'm a, a database um, apex and developer um, you know I venture into the ADF world you know, into that community every now and then but I'm constantly amazed at the Hyperion S space world what they come up with and um, you know discussions with our judges on you know what's new and innovative there it's really cool it's really cool so we're looking forward to Wednesday. I am looking forward to Wednesday. Okay. I'm looking forward to Wednesday's costumes. Um, As well. The, it's the, the you will be dressed up? I will be dressed up. Not Good. not super flashy, not super flashy. I might even wear heels. I might, might have real shoes, real shoes. <laughs> okay. Okay, but thank you. We're looking thank forward to it. Thank you very much. Okay.